Hi, welcome to 5 minutes demo recording of OCI Golden Gate. So in this demonstration, I'm going to replicate into OCI object storage using OCI Golden Gate and we are going to publish messages in JSON file format in real time. So first of all, we have to create an OCI object storage connection. And for the OCI object storage connection, we require a couple of details and one of them is the API signing key. So to get the API signing key, what you need to do is you need to go to your user settings. And in user settings, you can just navigate into uh, API keys under resources. And here, click on add API key and generate your uh, API key. And once you generate your API key, you can download the, um, uh, the private key. And also you can copy the fingerprint and we are going to use them in the connection. So the connection, you just go to your uh, Golden Gate console again, you go to connections, and then you hit on create connection. So first of all, we give a name to our connection, OCI object storage or object uh, connection. Yeah, and then we select the type as OCI object storage and then go to the next screen. Here we need to provide the tenancy and the user and also the region. So I can either use the current tenancy and the user or I can specify another user and uh, tenancy. So I'm selecting my um, tenancy as the current user and I'm selecting my region and then I leave my uh, user as current user as well. And if I want to use another user, I can just specify, specify the OCI ID and then I select the private key that I downloaded actually uh, from the API signing key. And then I provide my public key fingerprint that I copied previously. Okay, perfect. And then I just hit the create button and it will create the connection for me. So it will take a couple of seconds for OCI Golden Gate to create the connection. Let's refresh. Okay, it's still assigning, so let's wait for another couple of seconds. And let's refresh again. Okay, perfect. So now my connection is assigned to my deployment and I can use it in my replication. Now I go back to my console deployment, deployment details. And here I hit launch console to start the web UI to configure the replicate. So the services are starting. Let's wait for another one or two seconds. Okay, perfect. But uh, before starting the replication, I actually want to show you the uh, object storage. So if you go to uh, your OCI console, storage, and buckets, you see that in my compartment there are no um, there are no buckets or there are no uh, directories or files being created. It's completely empty. So I come back to my UI, click Add Replicate, and then select Classic Replicate as its replicate type. Give a name for my replication process, OCI uh, object, and trail name EX, the famous one that I have. Select the target as OCI object storage, and then select the available aliases that I assigned actually a um, couple of seconds ago. And in the parameters, I can provide the source and target mapping. So for the source mapping, I will provide the uh, schema name and the table name that I'm capturing uh, from. And for the target, I leave as a uh, star. And in the properties file, there are two different uh, parameters that I have to configure. Um, so one of them is the uh, OCI compartment OCI ID and the other one is the bucket name. So first of all, let's start with the compartment OCI ID. To get the compartment OCI ID, you need to get back to your OCI console. And under identity compartments, you can see your compartment details. And here you can see the, um, uh, uh, the OCI ID of your uh, compartment so you just need to copy it and come back to your replication and pass it to the compartment id for the 
bucket mapping template so this will be the name of the bucket that will be created and here you have two different options either you can provide a static name or a dynamic name but i'm just going to combine them and i'm going to provide the static name part as obj and the dynamic name part is the fully qualified table name so my bucket name is going to be made of it and then i will just create and run the replicate so it will take another couple of seconds for OCI Golden Gate to start the replication process. So let's wait another couple of seconds. Okay, great. The replicate is up and running. So I will just click on details, statistics. Perfect. I have 18 inserts being pushed into a bucket by OCI Golden Gate. So I go to my storage buckets. And actually I can see that now I have the bucket being created by OCI Golden Gate. So I will get into it. And in the objects, I will see the uh, directory. So this is the directory that is created by OCI Golden Gate. And here I can see the file. So what I can do is I can either just like uh, download it or like share it with other, other applications to be consumed. But for this one, I'm just going to download it and show you the contents. So let's click on uh, raw data. Okay, so here you can see the, uh, the messages in the JSON format. So uh, OCI Golden Gate by default replicates into object storage, OCI object storage in JSON format. But other file formats like Auro, Parquet, Delimited Text are supported as well. For more details, you can refer to OCI Golden Gate documentation. Thanks for your time.